this is the new vent that came in. You can see how much bigger the opening is on this one. This is what tubes coming out of my AC system behind the dash require. This is way too small. So I'm gonna cut this off, cut this off and glue this to this. I'll have a better, uh, better seal and more air to that vent up there. I'm gonna use a little Dremel tool for it. Uh, that's gonna get a little loud. Trim this off along this edge here. Load it and work, so we moved up to high. You can see it melts a lot more than it cuts, but it does what it's supposed to do. Now that we have this back off, we are gonna get this to there and replace that one. Um, try to figure out a good way to mark the size of what I need. the entire distance from here across needs to go away but what I'm actually gonna do is just cut it here and here because that'll match up with the outer ring so I will cut out everything from here around there and then take this whole section out up to high. I'm going to pop these off, give myself a little bit more clearance here. Dremel that I have in here only has two speeds, unfortunately. Otherwise, I could probably finesse that a little bit more. So what happens is the plastic melts as you're cutting it, and so a lot of times you end up uh, just reattaching the plastic right back to itself. So. A little bit of a couple little pieces still stuck right there. All right, we got into some of this old epoxy in here too. So I'm gonna trim that out and make that all nice and pretty. Um, but basically, that's what needs to happen, and we'll seal up all this edge here with some more epoxy. So next, um, the other thing I wanted to do is these stopped linking together. kind of want to fix that, so I'm going to see if I can take a couple quick seconds to rig something up there. What I'm going to do to fix this, if you can see in there, when I move those three vents, they move. This one's independent, and then these two move together. There's a little rail down here links them all and it broke so what I'm going to try to do is drill a hole in this one and this one and this one and then run a little wire that's loosely grouped that will allow them to move back and forth we'll let the wire pull out I don't know if it's gonna work or not we'll see Just this little bit of braided wire and I pull off one strand. I don't think it needs to be really strong, it just needs to move those vents as they need to. What I'm gonna do is make a small little loop on one end. I'll make it so it can't fall through the hole. 
then I'm gonna go in the first one. Okay, I'm in the first one. And then what I'm gonna do is make a small loop here. See if I can get back through that hole. was make a little flexible end there. So now I'm going to do the same thing with this little loop through this middle one. Now what I want to do is make sure that the angle is set pretty close um, between this one and this one. And then I'm going to do the same thing where I loop this up. As I pull it through, I want this to be right in the same position. So I'm going to bend it back there. Okay, let's see if these two see how they all kind of flex together now. They're not a perfect sync, but they'll do. I'm going to do one more time with this last one. smart thing would have been to not have broken this little rail in the first place but shit happens and it was kind of a pain in the ass to find this particular air vent um, that fit in here so perfect I still don't know how I did it and I kind of forgot where I got it from so um, I'm just gonna have to make do with this one Okay, so not the prettiest of things in the world. That little rod in there shouldn't affect much. And now this should pretty much have full flexibility to go left and right. And it does. And now all of the fins all move at the same time. Uh, more or less, it's gonna get pointed this way on me because I'm driving the car. And then it'll never get changed. But if I wanna move them, they all move now. I'll spray a little bit of black paint in there just to hide that. I still have to paint these edges here, but past that, this is ready to go to mount this step now. Jade out some epoxy. I'm gonna go ahead and mix it together. I have uh, six minutes of work time on this stuff. Hopefully that's enough. So a little different from the last epoxy I used for this. So I'm going to let it adhere for those six minutes first, and then I'll go in and start sealing that little edge there. Here. Um, I may have to run a little bead of silicone or use a different epoxy for that because this stuff's pretty runny. Um, but it's filling in these gaps real nice here. Okay, so I poured the last bit of epoxy here and here. I was able to seal up all those holes. I put a piece of tape on the inside that's just stopping the epoxy from falling inside of the air vent. 
Um, I'm spinning it around like this right now because the epoxy is probably on minute four of its setup. Um, and it's starting to get hard and starting to not be so goopy. Right once you put it on, it wants to kind of run and self-level itself out. Um, so by spinning it around, it kind of keeps it from, there's no, it can't really go too, too far in either direction. Um, I don't want it to fall into the vent um, and open up a new hole, and I don't want it to drip down the edge of the vent either. So um, after a couple more minutes, this should be all dry. And then we will spray paint the back of this and I'm going to clean up the rest of this housing uh, and then I'm going to put some more black silicone on it just to really make sure all the um, edges are sealed and that there's no little leaks coming through anywhere. Um, we are going to polish up some of this chrome stuff that's sitting in the front. Let's see how it turns out. Polishing, but that's fine. <clears throat> Most of the uh, debris that's on here is just dirt and gunk. 70 year old plus car, that's what happens. and crap that was on it. Uh, I'm going to mask off um, basically this front lip here um, and then we're going to hit it with some spray paint and get that all cleaned up uh, and then put the dials back in. Basically, it all painted up. I'll let this sit overnight and really cure, and then uh, deal with this again in the morning. <laughs> 